Today's video is sponsored by LewdComplex.com, your number one spot for anime and hentai. That's right, I said hentai. Clothing, gear, goodies, stickers, things to decorate your PC, your gaming setup, and all kinds of awesome items and apparel at LewdComplex.com. Be sure to use promo code TENEC127 if you guys purchase anything on their website, and also be sure to sign up for their mailing list so that way you can get discounts delivered straight to your email today. That's LewdComplex.com. Use promo code TENEC127. Enjoy the video, guys. Hello gamers and game mats, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another video. And guys, we are going to be making a video today that I really think is overdue here on the channel and it's a discussion that we all need to have. And I don't, I really wasn't going to address this at first because I'm going to be honest, not everyone asked me about this. I don't get a billion comments about it. I just get the occasional comment. I think probably over the past... 10 months that I've had interest in Lies of P, maybe five people at the most have asked me about this or, you know, or asked me why I'm supporting this game or why I want to play this game and everything like that. And, you know, I just wanted to take some time, make this video and address the elephant in the room because whether you know it's five people asking me or 50 people asking me, you guys' opinions here on the channel matter to me. And, you know, if I, if I'm doing something that y'all don't agree with, I want to at least, you know, explain why from my own perspective. Now, so while we're talking about this, um, let's go ahead and knock, knock the elephant out in the room. Uh, Bless Unleash has been shut, has been shut down, you know, and some people may be asking people who aren't familiar with this situation. Well, what the hell does that have to do with Lies of P? Well, Lies of P is being developed by the same team. Um, Neo is and round eight studio. These are the same guys who were developing bless bless was published by Bandai Namco. And I want to make that absolutely clear because I still see some people out there at times throwing blame on Bandai for Bless's shutdown. No, Bandai had nothing to do with that. That is a developer choice. Bandai did not make the decision to shut down bless unleashed. And, um, I'll personally say one thing bless unleashed was doing a lot better than some of their previous Bless games. I don't know why Bless Unleashed was shut down. I don't know why NeoWiz gave up on it so quick. Um, I've personally been involved with, you know, some um, different companies, developers and stuff like that with uh, different game projects. Like, I'm, I'm not a game developer, but I've gotten a peek behind the curtain multiple times because of, you know, friends I've made on YouTube, you know, developers and publishers that I've met doing this stuff and, and things like that. So I know a couple things when it comes to game development, but you know, I'm not some game development, you know, expert or, or anything like that. And now, um, for, for those who don't know, Neo is, they have a thing for doing this. They'll create a blessed game and then shut it down. They'll make a blessed game and then shut it down over and over and over. And me personally, I came to their defense when Bless Unleashed first came out. And I just said, you know, Maybe they really just weren't getting it right. And maybe that's why they had brought the game to a different platform, consoles, you know, to just try and start fresh, start over. They knew they screwed up with the PC community and, you know, they just figured they would build a whole new game, start fresh. And I had always suggested to them that they should bring that game, this game to PC because it's the best version of their game yet. And I still stand by that. You know, Blessed Leashed, I feel like with some... Minor improvements and um, adjustments to the adjustments to the grind. Bless Unleashed could have been great. So I don't know why it was shut down. I can't answer that question. But why am I supporting Lies of P? Why do I want to play Lies of P after, you know, the Bless Unleashed developers did that? Well, the one thing I'm going to tell you guys is they're making Bless, shutting down Bless, then making Bless again and shutting down Bless thing. It doesn't make any sense to me. And I know there's a lot of people out there who say, you know, they do it because they want to um, just scam people out of money and, and things like that. And that very well could be the case. I don't know if, you know, that's NeoWiz's intention to scam people or anything like that. But I'm going to tell you guys this. A first person shooter alone costs crazy amounts of money to develop. Like even a map on a shooter 
costs just tons of money. I'm not going to say the amount. I'm not going to say how much. I'm not going to say, you know, where I learned that from. But a lot of money. So these guys are making an MMO, shutting it down, making it again, and shutting it down. The amount of money that that's costing them is crazy. Now, I granted, you know, I'm sure they're getting a good chunk of that money back through microtransactions, founders packs, and and stuff like that. But the thing is, right, how much that development costs and the way that they're, you know, they're getting a, a bad reputation for doing this, I can't picture people going out and wanting to buy these founders packs for the new blessed games over and over and over again after they get shut down over and over and over again. You got a billion YouTubers making, you know, videos about Neo is talking about how horrible they are for doing this. You know, and I'm saying you know, a lot of casual gamers obviously don't see or know anything about this, but there's a good chunk of gamers out there that do. And I know content creation and a lot of us people on YouTube, we are the min minority. I do understand that. We're a minority, yes, but we're not exactly a small minority either. There's millions and billions of people who watch YouTube. <laughs> That's the reason the platform's so successful. So, yes, there's a lot more people out there that don't watch it. But there is a lot of people out there that do. <laughs> and that do stay up to date on gaming. And that do stay up to... They don't things like this, especially MMOs, because MMOs are such a weird territory. <laughs> so, you know, looking somewhere online for information with MMOs is probably a smart idea if you're invested in in these kind of games. And I don't I don't know. I just I don't feel like them remaking that game, the blessed IP over and over and over again is profitable. <laughs> And I just, I don't, I don't know. I have this feeling deep in my heart that that's not the reason they do it. Now, I'm not going to say, you know, they haven't scammed anybody. They haven't screwed over anybody or anything. Like that. It, it's messed up. And the games keep shutting down over and over and they don't give a solid reason. And, you know, if NeoWiz would just come out and talk about that, maybe they could actually clear the air on a lot of this. But they don't. But the reason I'm supporting Lies of P is because Lies of P is a completely different type of game and neo is itself is split into so many different studios because they're working on so many different projects i can't necessarily blame every game that comes out of their studio on you know on the bless history because you know it could be a completely different group i can't imagine that you know the same exact people that were on the Bless Unleash development team are the guys working on Lies of P. Or are the guys working on Neo Wiz's mobile games? I'm sure they're all split into different teams with different objectives and stuff like that. And not to mention, from what I know, Neo Wiz, they even um, dropped the Bless IP for other developers to work on. Maybe this last time they worked on it. They really did realize, you know, like, hey, we're we're just not good at the MMO thing. I, I, I don't know, guys. And I get, you know, what I'm saying is saying, you know, probably sounds crazy to a lot of people. And there's a lot of people out there like, Tanek, you just don't know what you're talking about, man. Neo has just been screwing over everybody and, and, and stuff like that. But uh, like, like, like I said, with, with the cost of game development, it just... It doesn't make sense to me to remake a game, shut it down, and, and over and over and over again. Like you're just, you're you're wasting money at the end of the day. Like yes, you're 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 spending money to make money to spend it again to make it again to spend it again. Like why? <laughs> I, I I don't know. But Lies of P, you know, it's a it's a single player, a Souls like, you know, something that just you know I'm really personally into, and I'm more invested into the game. I'm not really, you know, so worried about the developer and, you know, the issues that, you know, they have and, and, and stuff like that. Like I want this game for the game, but I'm not going to sit there and say Neo is, is the, the, the worst company in the world either, because I just, I don't know what their reasoning is. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I do. And, you know, I get it. You know, every, a lot of people 
feel some type of way. You know, their methods have screwed over tons of people. I'm not denying that. But it's just, like I said, the way they do things, I don't understand why. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I understand why or, you know, or how it works. It's just a little bit of knowledge that I personally have with game development. The way they do things doesn't make sense to me and it doesn't sound profitable. That's all I'm trying to say. But anyway, guys, hopefully y'all hear out my my reasoning. Like I said, if you if you agree with what I'm saying, you can let me know in the comments. If you disagree, you can let me know in the comments. If you hate what I'm saying, you can dislike the video. But, you know, I just want to be transparent and talk to you guys about, you know, how I'm feeling with Lies of P and stuff like that. But anyway, y'all enjoyed this video? Smash that like. I'll see y'all next one. Peace out. Have a good one.